And now we are here with Grammy Award winner Chubby Carrier. We were just bragging about, or Gerald was just just bragging about you. I'm so happy you were able to uh, to come on the show today. We're so excited to have you. That's good to be here. That's good to be here. I love this time of the year. This is a great time to be here. Finally, we got Christmas in the park. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting to do that for a couple of years. It didn't work out the last couple of years because of the pandemic. Right. We waited two years too long, so here we are, huh? Yes, so exciting and so many fun things going on. But, Chubby, this is my first time getting to talk to you, so I kind of just want to talk about you for a minute. How long have you been playing? Oh, a total of 34 years. Oh, wow. Okay. I started when I was really young. I was like eight years old playing Zydeco music. Well, uh, my father, my, my, I think my daddy and my grandfather every day for teaching me how to play Zydeco music. Mm -hmm. You know, it got me to a, a, a Grammy. You know, and right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm a little small town boy from Church Point, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Never had a, in mind to win a Grammy, but you know, I wanted to take the music as far as I can. Right. And I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to be able to introduce Zydeco music to everybody. My daddy and my granddaddy paved the way for me. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna take that and run. <laughs> and have you been able to travel the world? I traveled the world many, many, many years. Yes, I loved. I left Louisiana in 1989, and okay. I never looked back. I just kept rolling. I kept going and touring 275 dates a year. Oh wow! And if you look at the map of the United States, I've been there, Europe, uh -huh. Canada, you name it. I just wanted to travel all over the world and introduce the world to Zydeco. That's amazing. So, I mean, you've made your, your entire life about Zydeco music, and that's so amazing, and I'm sure it's so inspiring to some people. Talking about your original music, what kind of inspires you with that? Because, you see, the, my, my forefathers, like my grandfather, my, my dad, my, Clifton Chenier, they never had a chance to get exposed the way I did, you know. They, they, went, they had so much, but not, not a whole lot, because they, it was limited. But I had the opportunity to take it everywhere. So I took what they taught me everywhere and that inspired me because what they did mm -hmm. that was that was that was my kingdom of zydeco right there I mean, listening to clifton chenier my father my granddaddy said man people got to hear you guys and he said well son i'm too old to do it you, you take it and you take it as far as you can and i did and it led me to a grammy and i said that i wouldn't expect in that i was just wanted to take the music to the place that you couldn't take it you know mm -hmm. but they inspired me clifton chenier roy carrier my grandfather warren carrier they inspired me their music was so just so positive you know and i loved it well, good. You got to do what you love, and we are so excited to hear you perform tonight. Tell us what time we need to head out here. Tonight, I mean, I want to see all the families come out tonight because this is just an event. It's going to be a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. Monkers Park, right here in Lafayette, beautiful park. A lot of kids' activities, and we're going to start about six o'clock, play till nine, till till we can't no more, till we get <laughs> too cold. <laughs> oh, it might be a chilly one. I think it's supposed to drop a little bit. I think tomorrow it might be a little bit colder, um, but definitely bundle up. And right here in the amphitheater, uh, we can't wait for it. So I think six o'clock. Six o'clock tonight. Tonight. Six, six yes, to nine tonight. Um, there will also be a school choir performing. Um, I think they're they're kicking off the night. Yeah, they're kicking off the night. Yes, indeed. Okay. And the kids can't wait to see Santa. You know that. They all my I nieces and nephews. Santa's gonna be yeah, here. Santa's gonna be here. And they said we can't wait to climb that tree. I said a tree house. What yeah. are you talking about? Santa's gonna be in the tree house tonight. And the kids can't wait. That's right. That's one thing we haven't <laughs> talked about yet is pictures of Santa in the treehouse. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's that's a diff that's a big difference, yeah. Because you know kids love to climb trees and oh, yeah. go oh, in the yeah. treehouse. Santa is going to be in the treehouse. So when they're going to get up there, they're going to be so excited to take a picture with Santa. So I sat in the seat early, but don't tell her. I wonder if I can go get a picture. I love I love tree houses. I mean, can adults climb tree houses too? I, I don't see why not. I might have to snag a picture with Santa. Chubby, thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you for us. having me. Thank you so much.